Hi members, it's Wendy with the Archery Trade Association. We wanted to reach out to you today for a quick update about federal excise tax. So if you downloaded the federal excise tax earnings report we sent last week, you've likely noticed that the reported earnings for quarter three of the federal fiscal year or quarter one of the calendar year were much lower than recent trends or anything we expected to see. So just to back up a moment, so quarter one of the calendar year would have been for the 720 forms that you filed for January through March that were due on April 30th. So we've reached out to the IRS and confirmed with them that the majority of form 720s are filed on paper. Why is that important? Well, right now that is important because all of the IRS campuses have been and continue to be shut down due to COVID. So they are not processing any paper claims. If you filed on paper and mailed your check, it is very important that you do not refile. They will be processing your, your claims as soon as they reopen. So the IRS gave us an example of how this impacts the larger picture. And I quote, to give you an example of the impact of the closures, the certified amounts for all trust funds for the December 9, 2019 liability period was about $15 billion. The certified amounts for the March 2020 liability period was only $256 million, a $14.7 billion variance, end quote. So given that explanation, it's also important to note that the IRS has backdated their previous ruling, allowing the deferral of April to June calendar year, federal excise tax form 720s, which had, would have been filed by July 30th, to be filed by October 31st. So that now includes quarter one. So that includes those January to March, 720 forms that were due for you on April 30th are now deferred until October 31st. So that is good for you if you have, um, if you have not filed yet, you have a little bit more time. And if you have filed but are worried that they haven't cashed your check yet and maybe there'll be a penalty, you do not have to be worried about any penalty because that quarter one is now deferred until October 31st. There will be three helpful resources for you included in this email. One of those will be um, information and a link to the IRS website where you can keep um, an eye on the processing statuses of those paper claims um, and when they reopen their campuses. We'll also include a link to the deferral that you can see the official paperwork for that deferral now, including quarter one and quarter two of 2020. So both quarter one and quarter two of 2020, 720 forms will now be due on October 31st. There's also going to be a link for our service provider, Nathan Fitzgerald from BKB. So if Filing electronically is something that you want to consider for the future. They'd be a great resource to help you start to do that. And he can be reached at the email address we'll provide for you. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or an email. I can be reached at 507-233-8134 or Wendy Lang at archerytrade.org. Thanks so much, and I hope you all have a very great day.